What's going on? Jackie Montgomery here with Jen Mueller as we break down the key matchups between the NFC West leading Seattle Seahawks and the AFC East leading Buffalo Bills. Our friend John Boyle is away on paternity leave as he and his family await the arrival of their third baby. Congratulations to John and Lindsay. All right, first up, Jen, our first key matchup is the battle on third downs. The Seahawks defense, unfortunately, has had trouble getting off the field at times on third downs, and they'll be going up a very good third down team in the Buffalo Bills. Well, this Bills team is on polar opposites when you start talking about third down conversions, because you're right, Jackie, the Bills offense is converting over 51% of those opportunities. That is the best in the NFL. And this week, Pete Carroll and Bobby Wagner talked about how Josh Allen is making all the right decisions on third down. In addition, he is big enough that he can just lean forward and get you one yard or power through guys to get a couple of tough yards. Now, defensively for the Seahawks, that is an area that they've been trying to improve on all year. They're allowing opponents to convert 48% of the time. But that Bills defense is allowing opponents to convert 50% of the time. Now, the Seahawks are coming off their benchmark against the 49ers, having converted on 9 of 15 third down opportunities. But when you look at the numbers in general, here's what's interesting. The Seahawks have had the second fewest third down opportunities of any team in the league, which just goes to show how this offense is functioning right now. They don't even need to get to third down. They don't even get to third down when Russell Wilson is working his magic. Well, Josh Allen does play a key role on those third downs, and Allen has a new fun wide receiver to throw to, and that is Stefan Diggs, who joined the team during the offseason. How will Diggs match up against the Seahawks' pass defense? This is definitely going to be a fun matchup to watch because the addition of Stefan Diggs gave Josh Allen a legit number one receiver, and the numbers bear that out. He is second in the NFL among all receivers with 695 yards. He is third with 54 receptions. Now, the Seahawks have been able to keep Diggs in check in the previous three meetings. He's combined for just 123 yards. That was when he was with Minnesota, a different time, a different quarterback, and he will be facing a different Seahawks defense this week with the return of Jamal Adams. Now, the Hawks aren't at full strength, but you know the type of energy that Jamal brings, and if you saw him on the sidelines last week, you know that he is chomping at the bit and with fresh legs to get back out there and make a difference in the secondary this week. And finally, our last key matchup is the Seahawks pass rush, which came on strong last week against the 49ers with three sacks, and they could be getting some reinforcements this week against the Bills. How do you think they will match up against a very good pass protecting team? Well, I think we're going to be able to see the kind of impact that Carlos Dunlap makes right out of the gates. And yes, Josh Allen has been protected very well by that offensive line, just 13 sacks allowed. And if you can get to Josh Allen, he is going to be a tough one to bring down at 6'5". He is a beast back there. And you mentioned the sacks last week against the 49ers. It wasn't just the three sacks. It was the eight quarterback hits that indicates this defense might have turn the corner because a couple of weeks ago we were talking about how they had kind of stalled out with just nine sacks over the first six games. But with Bobby Wagner bringing pressure with Jamal Adams back in that secondary and the addition of Carlos Dunlap, expect there to be a lot of pressure to get Josh Allen moving and to really test that pass pro of the Bills. All right, well, there you have it. Kickoff is set for 10 a.m. Pacific. You can watch it live on Q13 Fox or, as always, listen to it on the Seahawks Radio Network.